The origins of the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, is attributed to the 1970s introduction of Earth Day. Recycling is the linear economy's model to manage waste as resources. Yet, the proliferation of unsustainable production and consumption continues. The average person buys 60% more clothing than past generations. Consumers discard cell phones after only two years. In just 13 years, the world produced and consumed more plastic than the previous 50. Carbon emission increase and severe weather events have led to extensive biodiversity loss. If we only knew then what we know now. Recycling has served an important purpose in the past, but we must rethink our current approach to production and consumption and acknowledge that resources are finite because to thrive in the future, we must redefine value and live within our resource means. The value of recycling has long been established. Divert material from disposal, landfill, or incineration. Keep resources in use for longer. Create demand for resources to be collected and reprocessed. Reduce extraction and processing of natural resources. Prevent pollution. Create jobs in recycling and manufacturing industries. But recycling is not a complete solution. In the linear economy, products are designed to end in disposal. Recycling is critical to a circular economy, but only a piece of the puzzle. The circular economy separates economic activity from consumption of finite resources. How? Designing out waste and pollution. Keeping products and materials in use longer and sharing them amongst many users. Protecting, restoring, and improving environment while living within our planet's boundaries. Adopting the circular economy redefines value because it's founded on the ability to create value, design for quality, and integrate value so component materials are prized assets before, during, and after usage. Preserve value, design for longevity through durability and serviceability for ease of repair and remanufacture. Recover value. Design for disassembly so resources are recovered at component levels and interchanged and restored in an endless loop. The future model of production and consumption is circular. In a linear economy, recycling delays disposal and captures remaining value only at end of life. It's limited because resources aren't maximized and too much is extracted and underutilized. The circular economy focuses on what need the product fulfills and designs for the need, not the product itself. The future redefines value through innovation, production and consumption models that leverage circular supplies through renewable inputs, incorporate product life extension to prolong value, offer sharing platforms to maximize asset usage and utility, provide product as service where the result is the function, not the good, prioritize resource recovery to avoid disposal, creating, preserving, and recovering value, and how we produce and consume resources is central to the circular economy, along with prioritizing environmental and social value and economic prosperity. Circular Innovation Council. Putting Circular Economy Concepts into Action.